Oh man, we got some stuff to talk about today. That's right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? are y'all doing we have a couple of dope gaming news items to talk about today before we get started give the video a thumbs up and you see the title of the video what prompted me to ask this question is nintendo racist well check out what's been sweeping the internet yesterday pictures of Aloy, this is what prompted me to do this video, talk about this video. But ain't this picture right here, and people were deeming her ugly or unattractive because of she doesn't fit the typical um, characteristics of what we think a, 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 a female should look like. And particularly, I asked, why do we have? Why have we been ingrained with this image of this, is, this isn't this is what a female protagonist should look like? I mean, she has imperfections, her cheeks are chubby, she has freckles, she doesn't have blonde hair, her eyebrows are a little burly, I guess, I don't know. But I never once thought anything was wrong with uh, uh, the character in the game. But because everyone is talking about it, I want to talk about it. And... This had me to think about other first party, first PlayStation games. And I have to give credit where credit is due. Sony, for the most part, has been pretty uh, diverse with who they have headlining their games. For example, the game of the year last year, Last of Us 2, you had not one but two female protagonists one abby <laughs> she was built man she was slow <laughs> she was slow and ellie who was a gay female headlining a huge huge game so huge it was game of the year also another game of the year contender last year we had Jin. i'm covering it myself because there's characters to talk about Jin, based in was it japan um, but it was an, an Asian um, character. Most recently, as of last month, at my current game of the year, Celine, a female protagonist. Hey, I'm still over here. Celine, a female protagonist, and she looked like maybe in her late 30s, early 40s, and she didn't um, go into that mold of what um the the population or the, the what's popular to be quote unquote attractive but it was a dope game and they were being diverse and this is what prompted me to first give sony credit where credit is due if they mess up and they start doing uh, crazy stuff then I'll, I'll i'll say it but to headline the launch of their next and their entire next gen the poster boy of the PS5 has been Miles Morales. This is the game that launched when the PlayStation 5 game launched. A, Hispanic, African, uh, African-American character, which my, my kids, like for me, of course, all my kids are black. Hey, check out, we took family pictures on Twitter. Go check them out, I put them on, Peter, on Twitter, Peter, Twitter. But my son, he likes Spider-Man Miles Morales. He dresses up as Spider-Man Miles Morales while he's playing the game. He's done that before. And so, that's what Sony has done. Now, let's talk about your favorite video game company. No holds bar. When you come to my channel, anybody can get the smoke. All right, bro, the most popular 
video game character ever. Mario, Caucasian, blue-eyed. Who is he trying to save? Princess Peach, blonde hair, blue-eyed. Who is Nintendo's second most, the number two commander, second most in command? Link, blonde hair, blue-eyed. Who is Link always trying to save? Princess Peach, blonde hair, blue-eyed. And I could go on and on. Yeah, Pitt, blue-eyed, Caucasian, Palatine or blue-eyed Caucasian. And I was like looking through Nintendo IPs and stuff, trying to be fair or whatnot. But when you're trying to find someone of color or someone um, diverse, it's going to be uh, alien type character, something not normal like Kirby who's pink. Or the only time I could find someone of, uh, with brown skin for Nintendo was Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong. I kid you not, bro. And so, ugh, not a good look. All of this was prompted by what's been going on with Alloy on Horizon Zero Dawn. But something to think about. Something to ponder as you... You know what I'm saying? Play video games, bro. And, and don't get me wrong. Video games, we try to escape from all the um, stuff that's going on in society. But a lot of times what goes on in society and how people think, it trends into, the, into video games. I'm just keeping a buck. Now, Miles Morales, black dude. When the next Spider-Man game comes out with Peter Parker, a white dude, you think I'm not going to play it? Of course we're going to play it, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's video games and we're here to have fun. But... I do have to call out uh, Nintendo. Um, what are some for Xbox? What are some major the all right, Halo Master Chief white guy? Um, Gears white girl white guy. Um, so you gotta diverse it up, man. Video game gamers I come from all broad spectrum, all backgrounds, all everything, and so I wanted to talk about it. Thought it was interesting, but we have two more news items before I leave you this morning, bro. First, Bioshock 4. The next Bioshock game is now rumored to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. This is from coming from Altar.com. And according to this article, this is coming from Industry Insider Nick Baker, aka Shetshaw Nick. Um, and he, according to him, he is saying that. The next Bioshock game, Bioshock 4, will be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Now, he doesn't know whether it's going to be timed or full, but I tell you now, timed exclusivities are just like full exclusives. Look at Final Fantasy 7. That game still hasn't touched anything green, anything Xbox, and it's pretty much a console exclusive, because by the time it comes out on Xbox, Game Pass or whatnot, Gamers are going to move on and have already enjoyed the game. So, Bioshock 4, but that's not it. Bro, industry, a major industry insider, Imran Khan, who has um, has a good um, track record. He's saying he's seen some stuff that PlayStation is about to reveal that he says is quote-unquote jaw-dropping. What Sony's about to show is going to be draw dropping. And this is his direct quote. This is coming from comicbook.com. He says, during a recent interview on Fanbyte Media's Twitch channel, Imran Khan, who is a well-regarded reporter and insider, was asked about when he thinks we might see some truly standout PS5 games. In response, he said he can't clear, but he does know some information and he's not allowed to share. This is what his exact quote is. I can't answer that, but I'm just saying that might be closer than we think. All right. He said, there are games in the near future that look very, very, very good and are jaw dropping. So can't wait. But there's one PlayStation game I want to announce, bro. Let us see some PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2 upgraded for the ps5 
I'm saying? This is one of the games I really want. All right. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Oh, my kids want to come in. All right. I'll let them in. All right. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my bro? Right there. Bro. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming, bro. Who's that on the screen? Who are the who are that? Who's that? Miles Morales. Miles yeah. Morales. Let's go. And, and hey. also make sure to subscribe to my channel. Sam right. Obi One Place. <laughs> it says Sam Obi One Place. Alright, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> my kids plugging their stuff. Bye.